Hey guys, it's Hannah, and today I'm coming to you with what I think I can safely say is my biggest book haul ever. So my semester has officially ended, which means that I'm finally back home with all of my books, and that also means that I've had months and months worth of books piling up in my room because I haven't been able to haul them since I haven't been home. So of course what that means is that you're gonna get a book haul with 30 plus books in it, and I don't know how I'm gonna be able to get through this entire thing because there are so many of them. I'm also not gonna spend too much time describing like the synopsis of each book because there are so many of them and I don't want this video to be like 30 minutes long but I will leave all of the books listed in the description box so that you can go and check them out on Goodreads if you want to know more about them but without any further ado because I have so much to get through let's just get into the books. The first book that I have here is American Drifter by Chad Michael Murray and Heather Graham. This is our Fiction Faction book of the month and if you don't know Fiction Faction is a book club that I have here with Natasha from Toshopolis, Maureen from Maureen Kiwi, and Zoe from Read by Zoe and essentially not every Every month but whenever we all have the time to read together we read a different book and then do a live show and this month we are working with Tor who is kindly sponsoring this video so thank you so much to them but we are all reading American Drifter together and we're going to be discussing it in our live show so I will definitely leave all of that information in the description box if you want to join us for the live show and to hear all of our thoughts on this book. Yes this book is written by the Chad Michael Murray from One Tree Hill or a Cinderella Story if you ever watched those growing up because I definitely did. Even and have his picture right here on the back just in case you weren't positive. <laughs> this book is essentially about this U.S. Army vet named River who is on a trip to Rio de Janeiro because he kind of just needs an escape from life. He also struggles with PTSD and while he's in Brazil he ends up meeting this local journalist who he falls head over heels for and it's a kind of murder mystery as well as a romance and there's a lot going on to it so I'm definitely excited to discuss all of my thoughts once I finish it because I'm almost there. I really need to get to the ending. I actually had to put this book down just so I could film this video. But nonetheless, I'm very excited to be discussing it soon. So this first stack of books I have right here are all books that I ordered myself because I was just highly anticipating them or they were really interesting to me and I'd seen them around booktube and Instagram. So that's why I kind of just splurged and bought like six or seven books. But it was over like three months, okay? So it's like not that bad. <laughs> the first book I have right here is one that I actually just finished reading and that is The Sun and Her Flowers by Rupi Kaur. This is Rupi Kaur's second poetry collection. If you have heard of her name before, if it sounds familiar to you, it's probably because you've heard of Milk and Honey, her other poetry collection, her original one, and this is the second one. I just finished reading this, like I said, and I really, really enjoyed it. I'll talk more about it in one of my upcoming videos, but I really loved Milk and Honey, so I definitely knew I had to pick this one up as well. The next book that I had to get right when it released was All the Crooked Saints by Maggie Stiefvater. I actually ordered this one a while ago because I ordered it from this one bookstore that she like does this special thing with that if you order from that bookstore she'll send like a signed book plate and stuff with it and then she also like draws in the book and it comes with a bookmark and stuff and I have the Raven King from that same bookstore that a friend actually gave to me and when I found out about that bookstore I was like I want to get her next release from that bookstore so I pre-ordered this book like way 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 back when it was first announced from there so it finally came once the book was released in October I believe. Time has like gone by so quickly that I am just like totally out of it. The next book I have here is The Bear and the Nightingale by Catherine Arden and this is a book that I'd been seeing around Instagram a lot and I really really liked the cover and then I heard someone compare it to The Night Circus and you know me if anyone compares a book to The Night Circus I have to pick that book up and give it a try so that's definitely what drew me to this one so that's why I decided to pick this one up and this is the UK paperback edition and I just really really liked this cover which is why I ordered this one. The next book I have here is one that I was also super super excited about and I debated which edition of this book I should get because there is a UK and US edition and I kind of also want the other edition because they're both really pretty but for the time being I decided to order the UK edition of Night of Cake and Puppets by Lainey Taylor. This is kind of a companion novella story that is a companion to the Daughter of Smoke and Bone trilogy. It's about two of the characters that are in that trilogy and it's kind of like their little love story romance. I've heard that this is really really good and it's just really romantic and feelsy. That's not a word, but you get what I mean. From what I've heard, it's very emotional and kind of reads like a rom-com, which sounds like a lot of fun. And I've, for whatever reason, been really into watching like rom-coms recently, even though that's not usually my thing at all. But for some reason lately, I really like them. So I might be picking this one up fairly soon because I love these characters. 
Taylor's. I love Lady Taylor's writing. I love the world and I just want a cute happy romantic story. <laughs> the next book I have here is An Enchantment of Ravens by Margaret Rogerson. This is a book that I was highly anticipating because it's about fae and fairies and it's not something I tend to read very often but it's something that definitely intrigues me and I was so so excited for this book when it was announced because first of all the cover is really really pretty and the synopsis also just really intrigued me and I have actually read this one already and I'm not going to give you all too many of my thoughts but I will just say that I actually didn't like it at all and I was so disappointed but I will also be talking about that in a future upcoming video but yeah so I ordered this one definitely expecting to love it and unfortunately it was a letdown for me. And finally the last book I have here in my pile of impulse buys is one that I absolutely had to have like there's no question if I didn't get any of these other books I had to have at least gotten this one and that of course is the illustrated edition of The Prisoner of Azkaban and it's so beautiful and I'm so in love. So far out of the illustrated editions of the Harry Potter books I think this is my favorite one in terms of the cover at least just because I love the way that it looks. I feel like it fits the book perfectly. The artwork is amazing. I like how dark it is and I'm just so so happy to have this. I just I'm still in awe of the fact that they're releasing these every single year. I have at least one Harry Potter book to look forward to and that makes me so happy. I've already reread the first two books with the illustrated editions but now I have to reread Prisoner of Azkaban with this edition so I cannot wait to get around to reading it again because I know it's going to be an even more magical experience with all the pictures. So the next pile of books I have here are all books that I ordered from Book Outlet. If you didn't know, I'm a Book Outlet vlogger friend, which means that I have a page on their website where you can see all the books I've ever ordered from them. And I think it's been over a year now since I've become a vlogger friend, which is really, really amazing. So you can see like over a year's worth of books that I have gotten from them that are all part of this collection here. But Book Outlet is a great place where you can find really inexpensive books because they sell overstocked books, so they can sell them for a cheaper price. And since I'm a vlogger friend, I get to work with them and they provide me with a gift card to order some books from them and then show you all in my hauls. And right now I have another stack of wonderful books that I've gotten from them. I think I ordered these in October. Not 100% sure, but I never had time to haul them before now, so we're getting to them now. The first book I have here is The Invasion of the Tearling by Erica Johansson. This is the second book in the Queen of the Tearling series. I think that's what it's called. I haven't read the first book in the series yet, but I did buy it just a little while back and I wanted to get the entire series because I have a feeling I'm really, really going to like them. All I really know know is that the series is about a princess who comes into power and then has to rule and deal with that. And I've heard that it's also very political and I really like that in fantasy. So it just sounds like a really intriguing series to me and something that I'll definitely really love. So yeah, I was really happy to see that they had a copy of the second book, so I definitely had to get it. The next book that I got from Book Outlet is The Female of the Species by Mindy McGuinness. I genuinely don't know what this book is about. All I know is that it has some feminist themes and that's what I've heard from a lot of people and some people who've reviewed it. And that just sounded great to me because I want to read more YA with feminist themes. So I wanted to pick myself up a copy and I've heard just great reviews about it in general. So I'm definitely hoping to enjoy this one as well. The next book that I got from Book Outlet is The Ship Beyond Time by Heidi Heilig. And this is the second book in the Girl From Everywhere series. I already own the first book. I think I ordered it from Book Outlet as well, but I wanted to get the second book. It's a duology, I believe, but I don't know too much about this series actually. I know it's about like time travel and about like a girl who has this ship or a map or something, maybe an atlas, maybe a compass that kind of lets her time travel. And I love time travel and that concept just sounds really cool to me. So that's why I wanted to get the second one because I want to be able to marathon the books back to back. The next book that I got from Book Outlet is The Crown's Game by Evelyn Skye. And this book I picked up because once again, I heard some people comparing it to The Night Circus and I was like, there is no way that I'm going to pass up on a YA series that might potentially be kind of like The Night Circus so I have to try it out. Apart from that comparison, I really don't know what this book is about. As many of you know, if you've watched most of my hauls, I don't really like knowing too much about the books that I read before I go into them. I like knowing like a few details, but not too much at all because I like to just be surprised by stories, which is why I never really give a great synopsis during hauls and why it can be frustrating for some people. So I'm sorry about that, but this is just the way that I prefer to read. The next book that I ordered from Book Outlet is one that I was so happy to find on their website because I've been wanting to read this book for so 
long and that is 10 things I can see from here by Carrie Mack and all I know about this book is that it's about a girl who is struggling with severe anxiety and as someone who also struggles with severe anxiety I really want to read something that I can identify with in that sense and I was so so happy to see that this book was on there this book has gotten fantastic reviews everyone says that it's amazing and the representation is great and I just really really hope that I also really love it and I cannot wait to pick it up and finally the last book that I have from book outlet is one that I cannot believe I didn't own until now and that book is The Bane Chronicles by Cassandra Clare, Sarah Reese Brennan, and Maureen Johnson. I've actually already read The Bane Chronicles so I don't know why I didn't own a copy of it already so when I saw that book outlet had it on their website I definitely knew it was about time to finally pick myself up a copy but I have no idea where I'm going to put it because if you can see right there my Shadowhunter shelf is completely full and there are still books that I own that are supposed to be on that shelf like this one but they're just sitting on my floor so we're gonna figure out what to do with that eventually. <laughs> the next book that I have here is Love, Life, and the List by Casey West. And this book was sent to me by the publisher for a video that I'm going to be doing coming up within the next couple of weeks. So keep your eyes out for that. But I just wanted to include it in this haul as well. I'll be talking about the book a bit more in the other video that I mentioned, but this is essentially just a summary romance contemporary novel. I feel like the contemporaries I read don't tend to be romance based. Sometimes there's a romance aspect to it, but they're never really centered around romance. And from what I can tell, this one is pretty much centered around romance as you can tell from the cover. But essentially it's about this character who gives herself a month to complete this list that she's created for herself to kind of challenge herself a little bit and I just really like that concept a lot. So it doesn't sound like something that I would usually pick up but like I said the concept sounds very interesting and I'm excited to try something new. So the next book I have here is one that is completely random. My sister actually picked this up for me at a school library sale and I think she got it for like a quarter maybe I think but it's it's basically this book that's called More About Jane Austen and it's by Sheila K. Smith and G.B. Stern and essentially it's just this book that has like information about Jane Austen, like some essays written about Jane Austen and why her books were so popular and just random stuff. And my sister knows that I love Jane Austen so she decided to get this for me and I'm really happy to have it. It's like super old and it has like that very vintage book kind of feel and look and smell to it and I love that so I'm very very happy to have this. So the next six books I have here are completely random and I had no idea I was getting these in the mail but they were sent to me by so thank you so much to them. Um, but it's these six classic fantasy books. Like one of them is Orson Scott Card's Ender's Game. Um, and then there's Old Man's War by John Scalzi. And then we have like George R. R. Martin and Charlie Jane Anders and I think it's because they were released in like these new special editions um, but I've never read any of these books before and they all just seem kind of like high fantasy sci-fi books um, and I love high fantasy and I love sci-fi and from what I can tell these are all kind of classics within the genre but yeah I had no idea that I was getting these in the mail and they were just there it was like this stack of books and they were tied up with this glittery ribbon that got a bunch of glitter everywhere which I really Really liked. The next two books I have here are two that I'm actually very excited to talk about because they were in the novel box that I curated. So if you didn't know I got to guest curate a box for a novel and novel if you didn't know is a publisher with Little Brown Books and they basically just promote their YA books and they asked me to curate this box that they have every single month. They have a box that's curated by a different author and I was the first non-author who got to curate a box and it was super exciting. So I got to pick some books from the box that I really loved and put some items in there that I also really loved and went a lot to me and were special. So I now have two of the books in the box that I can show you guys. And the first one that I picked was Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. This one was announced in the promotional stills and the other one wasn't so that one's a surprise. But this is one of my favorite books that I've read this year. As you all know I love Lainey Taylor, love her writing, and this one is my favorite book she has ever written I believe. And then another book I got to choose for the box was an arc. And the one that I chose was an arc of the Astonishing Color of After by Emily X. R. Pan. This book is being released in March 2018 and it's a magical realism novel about this girl whose mother committed suicide. So it's a very dark topic and I'm assuming it's going to be a pretty sad book. It's also very very big and long and I'm really excited to have that out of a standalone. I am assuming it's a standalone. From what I understand it is a standalone 
but I am so excited to dive into it. It's gotten so many great reviews and I've heard that it just has fantastic representation and it just sounds like everything I love. Emily also signed all of the copies that were in the boxes and so I have a signed copy as well and I'm just so excited to dive into this and I'm so happy for anyone else who got to win one of the boxes to also get to read this in advance and I just, I can't wait. I know it's gonna be amazing. The next book that I have here is another ARC that was sent to me by the publisher and that is The Bells by Danielle Clayton. This book comes out in February 2018 and this has already been getting so much buzz. I've heard nothing but good things about it so far. I actually have no idea what it's about, like genuinely no idea. I can't give you anything about the synopsis and I kind of want to keep it that way. I just really want to be surprised by this and hopefully really love it as much as everyone else has been loving it. But yeah, once I get around to it, I will definitely let you all know of my thoughts. The next few books I have here are all books that were sent to me in previous Owlcrate and Fairy Loot boxes that I just never got to share in a haul, so I'm including them in this one. The first one I have here is this special edition of The Language of Thorns by Leigh Bardugo. This one has red instead of like the gold that's on the regular one, and it's so, so pretty. I got this one in one of my Fairy Loot boxes, and I was so excited about it because it's amazing and beautiful and perfect, and I love it. The next book that I have is from one of my Owlcrate boxes, and that is Wild Beauty by Anna Marie McLemore. And I actually have two copies of this book because I ordered this one and then I got my Owlcrate box and this was in it. So now I have two copies, one with the Owlcrate exclusive cover and one with the regular cover. So I hope that I really love this book so that I can justify owning the two copies. Otherwise I'll probably give one away, but nonetheless, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous book. I love Anna Marie McLemore's writing. Her writing is exquisite and she writes a lot of magical realism. So I'm so excited to dive into this one. It's definitely one of the next books I plan on picking up. The next book that I have here is one that I got in a fairy loot box and that is Forced of a Thousand Lanterns by Julie C. Dow. This one I think I got in the same box that I got the Language of Thorns in because they included two books which was really cool. All I really know about this book is that it's a reimagining of the story of the evil queen from Snow White set in East Asia and it's a fantasy and that just sounds perfect and amazing to me and I just really really hope to love this one. I actually haven't heard too much about this book at all so I don't really have many expectations aside from the fact that the synopsis sounds great, so I can't wait to see what I think. And then finally, on to the last two books that I have in this haul. The first one is I Capture the Castle by Dodie Smith, and this one was sent to me by the publisher. I actually have no idea what this book is about, but I'm pretty sure that this is like some special edition of the book, and it has a foreword by Jenny Han, which is really interesting. I feel like I've heard about this book somewhere before, but I'm not really 100% sure where. I mean, this book is blurbed by JK Rowling at the top, and it says this book has one of the most charismatic narrators I've ever met, so that definitely makes me really, really interested in reading this. But this is a gorgeous edition and I was not expecting to receive it in the mail, so thank you so much to Wednesday Books for sending it to me. And finally, the very last book I have in this haul is one that I'm super, super excited for and one that I've already started reading, and that book is Secrets for the Mad by Dodie. Dodie, if you didn't know, is a YouTuber. She's a musician and she also has a vlog channel, which I have been following for many, many, many years. She's one of my favorite YouTubers. I adore all of her content and I was so, so excited to hear when she was releasing a book and I've started reading it already and so far it's amazing and I can't wait to finish it. It makes me very emotional so it's hard to get through at times but it's fantastic and I'm just so happy to have it. All right, so that is it for what I think is the biggest book haul I have ever done. This was so many books and I am so, so exhausted. I've been filming for nearly an hour at this point, but nonetheless, I hope you all enjoyed watching this video. Don't forget to check out the links in the description box to check out any of the books that I mentioned in this haul, or if you want to join us for the Fiction Faction live show, all of that information's in the description box as well, as well as all the info for American Drifter. Let me know in the comments down below if there are any books that I mentioned in this haul that you have read or that you really want to read or any of your thoughts on any of them. But that is it for this video. If you'd like to follow me on any of my social media, all of my links are in the description box as always. But thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Bye!